Hello, friends. So, Arc Genesis is here, and everyone wants to see the new creatures. I know. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. But first, we're going to go through our intro sequence, because Helena wants to talk to us. Hello, I'm Echelene, a fractal personality designed to be your guide. Just listen to me, and you won't get yourself killed. Probably. I'm new at this, too. Oh, that's Any sick. you can away from is a good one, eh? Welcome to the Genesis Simulation. Here, you'll be tested across five biomes, each with its own dangers and rewards. I'll be with you every step of the way. Interact with me when you want to teleport from one biome to another, or when you want to spend some of the hexagons you'll earn for complete missions. Those missions are how the simulation tests you, how you prove you're the ultimate survivor. First, though, we have some exploring ahead of us. Ready to go and walk about? So, like she said, we have a lot of exploring to do. I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in all the creatures. While I do that, here's a message from our sponsor. Hello, friends. Have you heard about Raid Shadow Legend? <laughs> Obviously you have. This game is on every corner of the internet. It's a wildly successful dark fantasy-based RPG. There's a reason millions of people have played this game, okay? Recently, I found out the game updated, so I jumped in and I unlocked a couple heroes to see if I'd get anything good. And then I moved into battle, but I wanted to try out some of my new different heroes so i did that i've actually got this cool lizard guy who has a giant claw and he does some devastating attacks and he also has a cool shield he can summon that absorbs a ton of damage surprisingly he has his own healing mechanic too a lot of the heroes have their own types of mechanics and special abilities which i didn't realize at the time you can really mix and match what you want to do i still love this autoplay feature as well i can put my phone down and they'll automatically go through stuff while i'm working or hey if you're doing homework or you got to go out eat supper with the family you can leave them battling. And the game keeps getting better because now you can play Raid on both mobile and your desktop and seamlessly switch between devices without losing progress. And right now, gamers can get cool content drops free for Amazon Prime subscribers. If you log in before March 8th, you can claim five ancient shards and four rank four chickens. There'll be more of these events going through April. If you're an Amazon Prime member, claim your loot by installing the game from my link down below and follow the instruction. But that's not all. If you're a new player, you can download Raid and start playing today to receive 100,000 silver and a free champion slasher. I think that's a pretty good deal to get a free character just for trying out the game. And all this treasure will be waiting here for you for the next 30 days. So what are you waiting for? Go check out Raid Shadow Legends and join the millions of players around the world. All right, let's get into the creatures. The first one I want to look at is the Bloodstalker. This is a creature that's actually native to this biome. So it's looking pretty good. I'm going to smack it up a little bit with my, my new fancy <laughs> lightsaber-like things. They look a lot different compared to what I had seen before in a picture, but... I uh, got a little stinger. You look all fancy and stuff. I can block your attack, though, so you're, you're not too scary. Let's jump on this guy. No saddle required, because it carries you around by linking up with you, and that's kind of creepy, actually. Um, now, I did have the chance to mess around with this a little bit uh, prior to <laughs> the release of Genesis, and what I've gathered is it shoots webs. I still haven't mastered it, obviously. I haven't enough, had enough time to. From what I understand, I can shoot my webs up right there, and it will drag me up, and I can let go and press space, and then I'm flying around. Now, this is the actual edge of the simulation. You can't go past this, um, but one thing that I've learned is that if you try to go past the wall and you ghost past it, it'll actually teleport you to a new biome. You see, everything is literally on the same map in this DLC. It's just they're separated by skyboxes and barriers, so you can't see. Like, over there could be the aquatic biome, and you wouldn't know because you can't see it. Let me just jump up right here. Oh, it's so satisfying, and I can latch on. Let me just get up right here. Guy's fancy. I'm going to jump down, latch on to him. It's super cool. It's super, super cool. I love it. Get up here. <laughs> Look at me flipping around. That's great. Do I have a special ability? Oh, I can tether myself down to the ground. That's kind of cool. That'd be neat for different scenarios. My attack is pressing C. I actually do some crazy, like, samurai stuff. I like it. Let me just jump down here. Cool thing about this, too, is on water, I actually hover. I don't walk around. Let's see if I can make him do it here. Here we go. See? I actually hover on water, which is kind of cool. There's a giant tree up right here. Oh, my God. I actually grabbed onto that from that far away. Holy crap, dude. Oh god, I haven't- obviously I haven't mastered it. Oh, right here. 
This is a glitch. Just so you guys know, I know it's supposed to be about monsters, but uh, this is the glitch. Helena will actually repair these for me. What is that glitch? I caught a glimpse of the survivor database. You come from all over Earth and all over its history. I don't know how much of it you remember, though. As for how you got into the Genesis simulation, well, your guess is as good as mine. You should be proud, though. The whole point of the simulation is to identify the very best survivors. And you're alive right now, so you're on the running. Hell yeah, I'm alive right now. Look at me. I'm flying through the air. Come on, over it. Oh, that's so sick. Look at this. Oh my god, it's actually kind of easy to get the hang of this. Oh my god, it's so sick! Check it out. Check it out. I'm just spinning webs. Oh, I'm totally going up this giant tree. That is so sick. I don't know where my spawns are. Oh no. God, it's just like Spider-Man. They got the fluid movements of this stuff, like, to a point. It's sick. And I'm at the very top of this tree. Almost. Yeah, this is the roof. So let me jump down. I have a cool dive animation. Look at that. I like a little tadpod fa tadpole falling down. Whoa. That is so sick. Ha <laughs> ha. This guy's cool. All right, let's jump down, though. I have some other creatures we need to check out. There's a glitch over right there, but we're not going to mess with that. Here we go. I found him. Hey, little guys. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to... Leave you alone. Let's bring this guy down. So, really cool creature all around. I actually, I really like this. This is sick. Oh, you poor little guy. What's wrong? Yeah, I'll beat up on you. So, these two I'm gonna really quickly go over because they weren't too interesting. This is the lava elemental. And then this is the... Ice elemental. What's going on? What is happening to you? Is that you, space whale? Chill out. Dude, what was that? Something just attacked this guy. But yeah, th these two are pretty self-explanatory. They are elementals. Um, but yeah, that's basically that. I'm going to move into the space whale because I'm sure you guys want to see what this guy's all about. So space whale is massive and it's also found in the lunar biome. You're not going to find these in the bog biome that I'm in right now. Uh, it also has some really cool tech turrets up right here. And there's one down below too, which is kind of cool. This thing can be used as like an AC-130 gunship. Uh, jumping onto this guy, it's really, it's a really slow creature. And let me just, let me get up here. It has cosmic power, which you would also have to use in the lunar, lunar biome, and hyperdrive as well. It has a cool attack. This tail swing is the right click, and uh, it looks pretty, pretty savage, but my favorite attack is the left click, because it does this. Doesn't that sound amazing? That is so crazy. And I'm right there at the helm, right in the front. You can see my little, my little camera. That's pretty sick right there. Now, if I jump off this and I go over right here, I actually have the turret right here. Enter front turret right here. So I'm inside the tech turret right now. I'm completely safe as well. I've got a little tech shield underneath me and I can shoot my weapons because I put some tech stuff in this earlier. Element actually is what I put into this guy. So this is a very multiplayer oriented uh, creature, more or less. Let me just get up right here. I'll try the top one, too. I can't go into KCAM or any other mode, for instance, but I can still shoot full 360-degree motion, but I can't shoot down below, so there is that. It's kind of a drawback. And Space Whale also has an ability, which is hyperdrive. I can hold space. Oh, boy. Uh, hold space, and there we go! Bam! I teleport, and I use my hyperdrive and cosmic power. So if I do this again, here we go. Bam! I use some of my cosmic power, and then my cosmic power um, gives me my hyperdrive back. Wow, I went super high into the air. I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to try and get down. One thing that I have noticed is not only is this thing really slow, um, it has different camera angles. So, like, so down right here, what you're looking at right now is the ability to drop bombs and basically carpet bomb an area if I chose to. I don't know if this requires an item or not. I'm not even sure how to make this work, to be honest with you. But that's just using the C key right here and... Well, X and Z don't do anything. R doesn't do anything. Something that is cool, though, is if I look in the right direction, I'll actually swing down, or you'll swing to the side in which you're actually looking for your right-click attack. Now, I'm sure this is a crazy dev devastating attack as well. But that's the space whale. I'll probably check that guy out in the lunar biome, actually. Next up, we have this guy right here, the uh, <laughs> giant turtle. You would not find that in this biome as well. I don't believe you would. Uh, I think this guy's only in the ocean biome. He has a little bite attack. 
This guy is basically just a walking fortress. He's got six little legs. His head stretches a little bit, but that's fine. Let me just jump off. This guy has the platform saddle on, by the way. Uh, I'm not using that stock, so it has a couple benches right here and the little saddle right there. You can build on top of this guy. And I saw something cool. Super armored underneath, too. I like this. He has, like, a little shell. Any options? Passenger seats. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can, like, get on different seats right here, too. That's so sick. So that's what these benches are for, then. At least they have a reason to be here. You can utilize them. It can have a lot of passengers. Dude, check this out. I'll have to spawn this guy in the ocean biome as well, so I can really utilize him. I'll teleport with Helena to the correct biomes in just a moment. Now, here is the popular one. The Ferox! Haha! <laughs> hey, little guy, I'm gonna pick you up. So, this guy is obviously just a little pet. He oh, look, he's so cute! Oh, you're adorable, little guy! Oh, you're so cute. Um, this is just a little guy that stands on your shoulder, sits on your shoulder, does whatever on your shoulder. You can throw him down. And then he goes down. He's kind of like a Pokemon. If I hold E, I have the options here to get into his inventory. There's options there as well. I can spam if I don't want. Um, let me just... He has zero out of one element that's required. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give him 48. Let's see what happens. Are you going to eat it? You know what? I'm going to take this guy with me and we're going to head out to a different biome. I'm going to turn on my shoulder cannon real quick. Shoulder cannon kind of bugs into the uh, Ferox. I don't think they uh, they put some thought into that because uh, unfortunately it's <laughs> it's going through him. Poor little guy. You'll be okay, bud. You'll be fine. I'm gonna teleport to the North Arctic real quick. And we'll get this guy some element. And I'll also then go to the lunar biome, so on and so forth. We'll we'll get the job done, don't worry. Oh, it took my bloodstalker with me. Oh! Okay, so it'll teleport me to Okay, alright, that makes sense. Wow, this is a big biome. I'm gonna have a hard time finding element for this guy. I think I might. I'll have to take a look around for a while and see. Whoa, there's an avalanche! Check that out! Oh, that's so cool. You poor, poor little Therizinosaurus. Oh, you poor guy. Look at that. Everything down here is kind of getting boned. That's sick. Haha. <laughs> I knew there's going to be natural disasters. It's cool. I might need this on my journey, so. Ah, that's so. So apparently I can't use my uh, flight in this simulation. It won't let me. So it nerfs you. Oh, there's the big guy. Wow. He gets menacing. Oh, wow. Check that out. So, for comparison, this was the little guy right here. All cute and adorable. Here's the big one. The big one's freaking huge. My God. You're menacing. Can I, can I, okay, I'm, I'm on him. Sweet. He's got some Hulk out moves. Bite around. Oh, jump. Wow, dude, this is crazy. Now, this one is obviously summoned in, so it has no transformation time, no nothing. Addiction isn't even relevant because he's not addicted to anything. He's just spawned in like this. So, obviously, if people cheat this guy in, it's very, very easy to tell when they cheat him in. But normally, the addiction would be at a certain percentage and the transformation time as well. And how this would work is if he gets too addicted to element and you give him too much, he'll actually turn on you and he becomes a hulking monster that you just, you don't want to deal with in general. This thing is nuts though. Any special abilities? Press C, he throws a boulder, that's cool. Uh, control, alt, nothing else. Wow, this guy is nice. Wow, this thing is so powerful, my god. God, you can just hear the power in these steps. That is so nuts! <laughs> God! Now let's check out your stats. 9,000 health at level 225. So, obviously not representative of a wild creature, but good indication of what kind of stats you're going to have when you start leveling these up pretty high. All right, I'm going to take Helena. We're going to go to a different area. We're going to go to the North Ocean with our friend. Hey, little guy. <laughs> you can't fit on my shoulder anymore, can you? I'm mining you. Yeah, I'm mining you. You don't like it, do you? I'm not doing anything to you. I'm going to stop doing that before he gets mad at me. All right, see you guys in a second. Let's bring in the giant turtle real quick. Go in your inventory. Oh boy, he's falling down into the ocean. Okay, you're good. You're good. You're good. There we go, little guy. You're good. You're fine. See? And now you're in the ocean where you belong. Now, the cool thing about this is you can actually dive down underwater. And if you have a base on the back of this guy, he'll be able to stay down here. That's so cool. God, it's so monstrous under here. That's so cool. Doesn't seem like there's any special abilities. Using bubble breath. That's so sick. <laughs> you can basically mess up like anything with that. I think I'm willing to bet that's just going to push them back, to be honest with you. Now down here, look, there's another wild one, actually. He's super slow. But down here, um, I'm willing to bet this is where Mo, Mo Dur, or however you say them, uh, <laughs> is. 
And that's supposedly supposed to be the final boss of, uh, of Genesis, but that's not true. It's not the final boss. Let me see if I can bubble beam this guy. Oh, there's eels. Oh yeah, eels are like the worst thing to run into as well. That sucks. But anyways, that's that guy right there. Pretty interesting, pretty cool. Uh, he's getting shocked right now. Eels are going to be a major problem, I think, in, in this expansion. Uh, at least trying to get around here. Now, while I'm here, I'm just going to toy around. This isn't how it's supposed to happen, but I kind of want to do this. Um, if we go down here, we may be able to spawn in the final boss. The quote-unquote sub-final boss, I guess. All right, so this place is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Um, so obviously, I'm not going to be able to get down to where I need to go because I'm not even sure where I need to go. But I will summon her in. Now, she's down there. Whoa! <laughs> You are big. So the way this creature moves, I don't anticipate this boss actually being mobile. I think this boss, Jesus, get out of my face. I think this boss is actually intended to be inside like a little crevice because she's she just doesn't move correctly. And she, well, you can see it like she's teleporting around and stuff. Uh, and I think she has her own boss arena as well. Let me just jump on her real quick. If I can, come here, come on. Come on, little girl. Where are you? There we go. I'm on the boss right now. So, trying to move around super slow. Maybe, maybe she can. Maybe she's able to, but like the animations, you see like she bugs out. I don't think she's, well, obviously she's not meant to be tamed. Maybe it can move around. Really nice green scales. If I attack, that's the attack. Wow, that is, that is nightmare inducing. Look at how the sides open up. Here's the right click, which is basically one of her special attacks. And I don't think this is a creature that you're supposed to be able to tame, by the way, guys. So don't get too excited because uh, this is a boss. So. But she shoots lightning orbs out. Now, if I press C, she's actually going to use this right here, which sends lightning orbs everywhere. You can see it right here. It was another boss mechanic, I assume. Uh, pressing X does nothing. Z, she doesn't poop, obviously. Control and Alt don't do anything. Shift, I mean, Shift is supposed to make you go faster, but... I don't see it doing it in this case. And she she moves really slow in water anyways, so. Like, see, the animation is really, really buggy. I'm trying to make her go up and she doesn't want to go up. Look at this. She's gonna be, she's gonna breach any second now. Oh my God, look at that. That's so creepy. Holy crap. That is, that is nightmare inducing. Oh my God. That's sick. Use the special ability. Oh, that is so sick. And those orbs move very slow, too, as you can see. Yeah, she is supposed to be one of the final bosses, so... She looks really good out of the water, actually. All right, let me jump off her real quick. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna fall. And there she is in her natural habitat right here. We go into the water. Wow, she is so big. Dwarfs a Moza easily. Dwarfs even a Titan almost. She's a Titan of herself. Look at her peeking up out of the water. You gotta jump up and get a bird? Is that what you're gonna do? You punk? What happens if I try and teleport with her? Helena, come here. All right, we're gonna go to the lunar biome and maybe take her with us. She's kind of in the portal a little bit. I don't think she's gonna go with us. Oh boy. All right, here we go. See you later, sub final boss thingy. We all know you're not the final boss though. You're terrifying though. It reminds me of the uh, the Zarfish or whatever from Metro. If, the, if you guys have watched that game before or played it, that's what it reminds me of. Here we go. And this is the lunar biome with the space whales. Here's a space whale right here. I just force tamed it. I'm gonna put the saddle on it real quick. And now I'm gonna ride it. There we go, space whale. Now, as we're in the lunar biome, our cosmic power will regenerate. This is what I wanted to show you guys before. And our cosmic power obviously is what we use to teleport around. Mm, we're gonna go into hyperspeed. Whoa, there we go. That is so sick. That's, that's something that's never gonna get old. And then this is the biome down here. Super nice. Seems like it moves more fluid here too. Maybe that's just me because it's supposed to be in space, but you know. Here's our little lizard friend. Let me go ahead and throw your saddle on. That's not it. So this creature obviously works as a forge. You can use it to uh, to forge metal. God, get out of here. He's got some crazy good health too. 9,150. Damn. I'm gonna go ahead and smack this guy up a little bit. You don't stand a chance, little guys. Let me just go ahead, use my special right here. I can really burn things up. Oh man, that is so crazy. 
These things don't stand a chance. This is such a powerful creature. Oh, I love the first person view. Oh, it's so great. Let me go ahead and aim at you. God, that is so cool. Anything that comes around me gets attacked with this AOE instantly. That's so great. Catch things on fire too. Pressing C activates all of my grenades that I just throw around everywhere for massive destruction. Little bit of a drawback is that this thing is behind me and I don't have an ability to like swing my tail and get it. Power up my magma. Throw some grenades around. Let me just charge this up. So you gotta hold right click and you actually start charging up your stuff. We just burn these guys real quick. Get out of here. God, they're on fire. How are they still fighting me? They're on fire. Get out. I'm getting out of there. I'm not dealing with that. That's that's too much of a mess. Anyways, this is this fancy guy right here. He looks really good with the saddle. Super good high detail model too. Damn, that's super nice. Nice claws. Nice everything. But I think I'm going to end the video right here. So that's pretty well it on all of the notable creatures in Genesis. I probably missed some. I apologize if I did, but they probably weren't notable enough for me to want to pay attention to them. Um, we're going to go ahead, though, and jump into some more Genesis stuff. I have Genesis servers as well at Islonicta. Join my Discord server to find out more, but we're doing some major giveaways. $50 every single day will be going to one random player found on the Genesis servers, along with merchandise and in-game items. So it's going to be a good time. Make sure you join the Discord server. All right. I will see you guys in the next one. That's just a little rock slide. Nice.